everyone. Well, we just got into the airport and we're at our gate. We went through security. We're about to go on our trip to Fonia and I'm not feeling very well. I have a little bit of a cold, but I will try to keep updating you guys. Um, yeah, so security was really easy. If you haven't traveled in Vietnam before, it's you can like bring water bottles and stuff through. It's really different from US security. Everyone's been asking to see you in my videos. Hello everyone. So here he is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just got to our hotel room and I want to give you guys a little tour. So as a disclaimer, this is like a work retreat. So I did not pay for any of this. Um, and I feel really, really blessed because we got to stay at a really nice place. So Joseph and I actually have this whole villa to ourselves. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour. Okay, so we've got a kitchen, living room, this amazing bathroom outside. Like, this is crazy. Like, there's the bathtub and toilet. So pretty. Okay. And then we go upstairs. Just love the, the tile, it's just really cute. So upstairs is the bedroom and it's very spacious. And then we also have a really cute bathroom. Um, yeah, and then outside on the porch, there's the swing or this yeah bench swing um yeah so it's really cute anyway sorry guys i have a cold so i sound rough but i have to go now to dinner but i will catch up with you guys later hi everyone update um today we're going on the cave tour i still have a cold but gonna make it um <laughs> So I'm really excited to take you guys with us. I think first we're going to kayak into the cave and then we will go hiking in the cave. And then I think there's like a lake as well. So hopefully I can get some good videos to show you guys. Here we go. We're on our way into the cave. It's right there.
say hi, Joseph. Hello. Peace. A little update from in the cave. We have been in this cave for four hours and this has been pretty intense. Like a lot of bouldering, um, using ropes to climb across things. Um, it's definitely not easy, but not, not like extremely hard. I mean, I've been hiking pretty much my whole life, so it's nothing like crazy difficult, but it's just the amount of hours that we're doing it. Um, and it can get pretty hot. So what we did is we kayaked um, three kilometers in, and then we did like, we went into the cave and we went back out to the cave to our kayaks. Then we took those kayaks to this part of the cave. So like we had to kayak quite a bit more to get to this part of the cave. And now we've been going for quite a while. This, this part has been a lot more challenging. Um, and then we just had lunch. So they had someone like bring a cooler full of food all the way in. Like they carried um, like 70 pounds of food into the cave for us. So we had um, like beef and rice and fruits and water and Coca-Cola and like a bunch of stuff. We sat up in the top of the cave and ate that, and now we've come down here to the water where we can swim and like jump off the bluff and stuff. So it's pretty cool. This is like a very cool experience, but I didn't expect it to be this like in depth. Um, this cave is huge, it's not one of your like narrow, small caves with like little crevices. The whole thing is just massive caverns. We made it out of the cave. Actually, we are still in the cave, but now we're kayaking instead of climbing on boulders. Uh, Joseph is paddling for me at the moment. Um, we are drenched in sweat. I've never sweat this much. Um, it was really, really tiring, but worth it. I would say it's a once in a lifetime experience. And I, I would recommend doing it, just know that it's like very strenuous. Um, so I'll show you guys what this looks like paddling through the cave. So we're just paddling through this cave in these kayaks and we still have a few kilometers to go, I think. it's It goes pretty far into the cave, but it's an amazing view. And it's so peaceful and quiet too. We made it! We see the light! <laughs> and at last I see the light! <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that view! We have not seen sunlight in five hours, six hours, probably six hours. Wow, so beautiful. We just got back to our hotel from our cave trip. And I just wanted to kind of recap and explain a little bit more. So in total, we did 11 kilometers, which is about seven miles. And that's including kayaking and hiking. And the hiking was very strenuous, like climbing over slippery boulders like the whole way um with headlamps on 
So like, you know, you have to like have your light right in the right spot so you can see because it's pitch black. Um, but there was a group of 14 of us, so that definitely helped. Like there was quite a bit of lamps going on, so it wasn't like as dark. Um, the other thing I learned is this specific cave is called Fomnia and the other cave has a different name. That cave costs $3,000 to go in and I believe you like camp inside the cave. It's a very long expedition. They they have like someone who cooks all your food for you. They bring everything for you. So that's why it costs so much money. Hey guys, I am back from my trip. Um, I just wanted to finish up this video. I watched those clips back and I realized I was talking so slowly and I sounded really bad from my cold. I was actually really sick and it's kind of a miracle I was able to go through that cave. Um, so I just wanted to like um, wrap up and like clarify some of the things I said in the video. So the largest cave in the world is in Fomnia. Fomnia is like the place in the national park. Um, and that cave is called Sun Dome, and it's, it does cost $3,000 to go take a tour of that cave, and only 300 people a year are able to go there. Um, the cave we went into is called Fomnia, and it's the more popular cave to do. Um, there's actually like a boat tour you can take that just like takes you in the river, in the cave that the river that we kayaked you can take like a big boat tour all the way in and all the way back out so a lot of people were doing that we did the the adventure tour where you actually hike all the way into the cave and i would i would definitely like i'm glad that i did it but i would not do it again because it was really dangerous <laughs> looking back um, I can say like it's kind of a miracle that none of us were seriously injured because like we had no equipment like keeping us from falling off of boulders and yeah it was pretty dangerous I don't think they would allow things like that in the US <laughs> but um, also they they um, made us wear these sandals these open-toed sandals and I will put a clip of that here um they were like um kind of made out of rubber and a lot of people in our group really did not like wearing them i didn't mind it because i felt like i was able to sort of bend my foot and grip onto the rocks but if you have like arch problems or like a lot of foot pain they won't allow you to wear your own shoes because there is like a, a river inside the cave so they want you to wear these water shoes i will be posting another video in the next few days of the rest of our trip we did go into the national park and i rode the motorbike and it was really really fun so i'm excited to show you guys just the beautiful mountains and the rice fields so look for that video coming very soon and I just want to say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I am just so overwhelmed. I was not expecting that. And I hope I can keep making videos that you guys enjoy. Thank you for all your comments. I really love reading them. You guys have been so kind. So I will wrap this video up here. Please like and comment and I'll see you in my next video.